Professor Flowers, do you believe that the presentation that we just listened to here models for us the kind of interpretation and exegesis that we utilize to demonstrate the doctrine of the Trinity, the deity of Christ, the resurrection, justification by grace through faith, uh, the necessity of the atonement. Do you believe that this kind of exegesis which you just gave us is the same kind of exegesis that you would use to demonstrate those truths from Scripture? Um, I would think that my the book that I'm writing, the blog that I've written, the podcast, I go into a lot more deeper exegesis. This is a 20-minute presentation for the beginning of the debate. But what I heard was a presentation on a, a, a group of topics that then eventually got to some of the verses in chapter 9. But it was not an exegesis of chapter 9. You did not walk through it. You created a system and then went in and said, so that's why this says this and that says that. What I'm asking is, do you believe that that's the same methodology that we are forced to use to demonstrate to the Muslim uh, the deity of Christ, uh, to demonstrate to the Muslim the necessity of the cross, or make it any other uh, situation we're dealing with someone outside the faith. Do you really believe that it, it parallels um, the method of exegesis that we utilize to demonstrate those other things? Um, no. Um, I, I think that